Good evening, I'm Shogun Mohammed and this is the 7 o'clock news. The Commander of the Royal Guard, Brigadier General His Highness Sheikh Nasr bin Hamad Al Khalifa and Commander of the Royal Guard Special Force, Major His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa visited the Sandhurst Royal Military Academy in the United Kingdom yesterday at the invitation of the Academy's Commandant to attend the 173rd graduation ceremony of cadet officers. Upon arrival, they were greeted by the Academy's Commandant as well as a number of officers and teachers. Among the graduates in this batch was Officer Abdullah Sayyid Atliyah from the Kingdom of Bahrain who received the rank of excellence in the academy and was awarded the sword of honor as well as military, academic and sports excellence. At the end of the ceremony, their highnesses congratulated the graduates and cadet Abdullah Sayyid Atliyah on this honorable achievement which reflects the competitive spirit and aspiration of the Bahraini youth in this prestigious academy that specializes in the preparation of military officers on an international scale. And I congratulate you all on behalf of your parents, your friends, your regiments and your corps on your proud and splendid performance. Your precision, panache and pride
awarded to Officer Cadet Abdullah Atia from the Kingdom of Bahrain. academic and practical studies. Today it is awarded to Junior Under Officer William Miller, who is to be commissioned into the Corps of Royal Engineers. International Sword, presented by the State of Kuwait. The International Sword is awarded to the International Cadet, considered by the Commandant to be the best of the intake. Today, it is awarded to Officer Cadet Abdullah Atia from the Kingdom of Bahrain. of honour. The Sword of Honour is awarded to the officer cadet considered by the Commandant to be the best of the intake. Today it is awarded to Senior Under Officer Nathaniel Newman who is to be commissioned into the Rifles. representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, 
President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and Chairman of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad al-Khalifa, affirmed that Bahrain, during the prosperous era of His Majesty the King, developed a comprehensive vision to create the Bahraini citizen and that this vision has been translated into plans implemented by the government, led by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and the follow-up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince. His Highness stated that the International Youth Day, which is celebrated on August 12th, is an important occasion to affirm the keenness on implementing the royal vision towards the youth in Bahrain. He added that the occasion asserts the Bahraini strategy of providing all the required potentials to develop the quality of the youth in order to achieve the UN goals of this year. His Highness Sheikh Nasser noted that Youth City 2030 is one of the initiatives that reflect the strategy in reality. He stressed his belief in the youth's high ability, evident through their ideas and creative visions in developing solutions for challenges in society. His Highness also noted that Bahrain possesses all the factors of security and stability as a result of the efforts of the concerned authorities. He stressed that the kingdom has provided the youth with the opportunity of political and civil participation and the Bahraini youth now has an important role in achieving the aspirations of Bahrain's future in line with the reform process that the kingdom is undertaking.